Welcome to Electron Online. For our second example of how to find the rotational kinetic energy of a rotating object, we're going to take this spoked wheel. Notice that the rim of the wheel has a mass of 5 kilograms, each of the eight spokes has a mass of 1 kilogram, and the radius of the wheel, which is equal to the length of each spoke, is equal to 0.4 meters. Assuming that the wheel is rotating at an angular velocity of 4 pi radians per second, let's find the rotational kinetic energy. Again, we know that the translational kinetic energy can be calculated with the, with the very familiar equation 1 half mv squared. For the rotational kinetic energy, we use the rotational equivalent units, which is equal to 1 half i times omega squared. Now, we do have the omega already, but we don't, we don't have the i yet, the moment of inertia. In this case, we have to find the moment of inertia of this spoked wheel. We have to find the moment of inertia of the rim plus the moment of inertia of the eight spokes. Therefore, the moment of inertia, I total, is equal to the moment of inertia of the rim plus eight times the moment of inertia of each spoke. That means this is equal to m r squared, since all of the mass of the rim as a distance are away from the point of rotation, we use the general equation for the moment of inertia, m r squared, plus 8 times the moment of inertia of each spoke, which is basically a beam that's rotating about the edge, the moment of inertia of that would be 1 third m l squared, so 1 third m times l squared, and of course, in this case, the length of each spoke is equal, equal to the radius of the wheel. So we can write this as m r squared plus 8 thirds little m for the mass of the spoke times r squared because l is equal to r. Now that we have the moment of inertia, we can plug that into our equation. The kinetic energy is 1 half times the mass of the rim times r squared plus 8 thirds the mass of each spoke times r squared times the angular velocity squared. This is equal to 1 half times, that would be 5 times r, which is 0 0.4 squared, plus 8 thirds, times 1 kilogram per spoke, times 0 0.4 squared, and then we multiply that times omega squared, omega is 4 pi, so 4 pi quantity squared. So let's see what that is equal to. Working out what's inside the parentheses first. We have 0.4 squared times 5 plus 0.4 squared times 8 divided by 3 equals multiply the times 0.5 and multiply the times 16 and again times pi squared equals and we end up with 96.9, 96.9, and the units would be joules, newton meters, which is joules. Which means in this case, the rotational kinetic energy of a spoked wheel is equal to 96.9 joules. We have to find the moment of inertia, first of the rim, then of each of these spokes, which is one-third ml squared times eight, because there's eight spokes, and we multiply times omega squared, and that's how we do that.